Okay, guys, right now I'm going to tie for you guys a fly that um, it does a really good job on a lot of rivers and streams. It's a Vladi condom worm. This fly um, has been tied by a lot of people in a lot of different ways. I'm going to show you how I do it. So first thing I do, there's three different weight categories that I use when tying this fly. One would be a single wrap of lead, um, about 10 wraps of 20 thousandths. Um, the next category weighted fly would be about 12 wraps of 20 thousandths, and then over top of it about 8 wraps of 20 thousandths loosely on top just to add a little extra weight. And the third option would be throwing a tungsten bead on there. I like the anodized pink, but you could also use orange, you could use uh, painted pink, well, you could even use a silver bead, and I think it'd look great. Because as we all know, fish like to eat worms. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of the mid-range weight. I'm going to go ahead, and this is a size 6 Dairy 135 scud hook. I'm going to start with some 140 UTC rusty brown thread. Uh, it doesn't have to be rusty brown, it can be normal brown, camel, whatever color you want. Um, this is very similar to the way the Lance Egan ties this fly. Um, I saw him using the brown thread, gave it a shot, been fishing now for a while, and it, it's really cool. So the latex that we'll be using is a pink, and when, it, when it's wrapped over the brown, I think it adds a lot, of, a lot of character to this fly. So after we get our thread over top of the lead, locking it into place, we're going to take a piece of 4X mono. Now do yourselves a favor and have this piece of mono be at least 8 inches long. Um, at a minimum. As we as we use the condom that we'll be using, the latex piece, it's very hold, hard to hold on to and it also gets your hands where they're slippery, especially to hold on to things like monofilament. So, Alright, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a condom. These are crown condoms you can buy on Amazon. I think they're six or seven bucks for twenty-five. And cut it into a piece of a strip that's about three-eighths of an inch to a half an inch thick. Um, so just go ahead and chop up a condom after that, I'm going to go ahead and unroll it, take the end, tie it in right behind those lead wraps. There we go. Okay, now working forward, we're going to cover up that lead instead of with thread, we're going to give this worm on the segmented portion, like many worms have, they have a different color or a thicker spot, whatever it might be, we're going to give it uh, a little bit of a, a pink ice dub hot spot. Once again, courtesy of Lance Egan, um, I think that he does a great job with many of the patterns that he ties. Um, this is definitely no exception here, and this is something that he does in order to kind of give this fly some character or variety. I'll add a little bit more, cover up the lead here. Okay, now this ice dubbing is going to be completely covered with latex. You can just grab a hold of the, these top fibers that might get in the way. Without uncovering that lead, just peel some of those off. Okay, now take your brown thread. We're just going to wrap it up towards the eye of this hook, do two, maybe three layers, kind of tapering it down from the lead there. Okay, and at this point we're going to switch threads. We're going to get rid of the brown. I'm going to go ahead and just whip finish it, cut it off. Then we're going to attach the fluorescent pink UTC 70 denier. Now I like to attach this before I try to bring that latex forward, because things do get a little tricky to hold on to. Um, in the middle of this fly. So we're just going to make sure that thread is secured on tight. Okay, then just tuck it out of the way and go ahead and grab the latex strip. And I like to use the rotary function. It's not necessary, but I think that it makes it a little easier, a little more convenient. And as I mentioned, this condom is pink, so it's going to wrap over top of that brown thread and that pink dubbing and, and give it a lot of good character. We're just going to go over it a few times. I like to let the, the condom spread out over top of that pink dubbing. There we go, put some good wraps on that, and then we'll work it back forward towards the eye of the hook. Okay, and you can just twist it on there to your heart's content until you think it looks like a worm. No rule there, just do it however you think's best. Okay, now right here, we're going to be very careful not to let that condom slip. If it does, it's going to unravel this fly, and it is a mess. But we do want to stretch it tight, cut it off clean. At this point, I always like to put another uh, whip finish. You could put, oh, let's see, there we go. You could put a couple of half hitches, however, half hitches uh, on occasion can slip on you, and you really don't want that to happen on this fly. Okay, now we're going to take and we're going to counter wrap this rib. I like to wrap it around my fingers, the monofilament, so I can really get a good hold on it and really kind of seat it down into that latex. There we go. 
We're just gonna, these wraps don't have to be really tight together, just make the thing look like a worm. We've all seen worms, we have an idea of what they should and shouldn't look like. Right up to the eye of that hook, always keeping that monofilament tight. There we go, because it can slip on that latex very easily as well. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and trim that off. We're finishing, and this fly is done. There's not a lot to it. Uh, a lot of guys will tie it on a, on. they'll either bend the hook they're tying it on, which is cool, or they'll buy a pre-bent hook, uh, which is also a good idea. However, I haven't found that it makes a big difference. I fished both. I'm sure they're both great, but fish, fish like to eat worms. This, this scud hook does a great job for me. And there it is. Now, uh, one thing I like to do with this fly is I'll use it as an anchor fly and I'll drop a couple of droppers if you're in a state that you can fish three flies. If, if not, if you only fish two, drop you know one fly off a tag up above it in order to get some small flies down in situations such as on tailwaters and such. Um, all right, so there it is. Uh, lastly, I'd like to invite you guys to subscribe to the YouTube channel here. We've got a fun agenda coming up where we're gonna be posting fly tying videos guide tip videos in order to help us all become better fishermen with our limited time on the river and also the fun action adventure fly fishing videos so go ahead and subscribe thanks so much